Hi, this is Dr. Stephen with OutClick Magazine. Today, we are very excited to talk with world-renowned pianist, Jim Brickman. As an organist, pianist, and handbell ringer myself, I've followed his music for years and has been a great inspiration. He is the best-selling solo pianist of our time. He has 22 number one albums. He has 33 top, 33, 20 radio singles in Billboard magazine. He has a coveted Dove Award and 20, excuse me, two Grammy nominations. He is a two-time CSAC Songwriter of the Year Award winner and a Canadian Country Music Award recipient. He also has a music scholarship in his name at his alma mater, the Cleveland Institute of Music. Brickman is one of pop music's most fascinating success stories. He has jumped from a career as a jingle writer of famous tunes for advertising to reviving romantic standards of pop, soon, pop songs we all know and love. His first album re was released back in 1995 and entitled No Words. He has gone on to sell 8 million albums worldwide. Jim, it's an honor to talk to you and speak about what you are doing these days. Thank you. Good to see you too. Thank you. You've got it. We're going to speak quickly about you've got a new Christmas album coming out called Soothe Christmas. Yeah, it is. Uh, I figured that this time uh, this year, what better way to release a, a Christmas album than to make it about relaxation and calm and give people a little bit of an escape from the chaos of what everybody's going through and use music to just calm and heal. Hmm. Uh, I know for me personally, I found YouTube music and have listened to all kinds of music and uh, it's really helped my uh, journey and depression through all of this and your music has been part of that. The biggest thing you have is the uh, uh, Comfort and Joy at Home series that we want to talk about that is benefiting so many uh, venues throughout the country. We're going to pull up the website if you want to tell us about this amazing uh, program and concert series that you have coming. Absolutely. Well. I, you know, everybody's doing live streaming, right? Everybody's mm -hmm. like, oh, I have a live stream, you know, concerts. And people have been tuning into a lot of those that a lot of my colleagues and, and tour, you know, performers have done. But I wanted to do something that was unique, that wasn't just, here's the live stream, tune in. So what we're doing is we're doing Zoom concerts. Okay that everybody can be in the Zoom room with me and uh, there can be applause and interaction and I can see you and you can see me and all of that, which is a really, really great thing because to me, you know, you want to replace the concert experience as much as you can. You can't, you can't replace being there in person, but you want people to be able to feel like they're they have some interaction with you mm -hmm. so um but what's and what's making this even more special is we are sending you a christmas stocking full of gifts that you're going to get prior to the concert so we send you a, a christmas stocking as music and a program and a ticket and and snow and I mean candy canes and hot chocolate and all kinds of stuff to um, to use however you want to but also to be part of the concert mm -hmm. and um, and then there's a meet and greet opportunity and um, so the stock so the stocking and you know being able to see each other is a really wonderful way to um, make it a more complete experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really fabulous idea that what you're doing there. People are just so anxious to go back to the theater and have an experience. And you're creating this really um, intimate experience for people to come and join you like this. And um, hearing you live like this on the piano, I think it's just really a creative idea. How did you all come up with the idea uh, to, to do this? Well, it was sort of my brainstorm because a big part of this is also that portion of the proceeds go to each theater. Mm. And what makes it also unique, in addition to all of what I was talking about, is we're doing different cities every night as if we're going on tour. So it's not just like, mm -hmm. here's, here's a Zoom from 
you know, my house, everybody tune in. Every night we're doing it like a tour, but it's a virtual tour. So if I'm in Wichita, not only to a portion of the proceeds go to support the Orpheum Theater, the place that I would be performing if I were there. Okay. To support the art. So every ticket um, in each local place. So then I can be like, hey, Wichita, I know I can't be at the Orpheum tonight, but this is the night mm -hmm. we were going to be together. So I wanted to be mm -hmm. together. And it makes it very community and it supports the arts in all these communities. That's, that's why there can be like a hundred cities on the tour because we're going to so many. So, you know, it's a Zoom room like we're together. It's for okay. local, local theaters. Every night, if you look on jimbrickman.com, the tour page, you'll okay. see, you know, like Nashville has has one. And I mean, Lexington, Kentucky for the Opera House, like what mm -hmm. you were saying. Um, Let's you know, pull that up. Arthur's helping me out. He's going to pull that up. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, so not only do we send you a gift, we get to see each other in the Zoom room. A portion of the proceeds go to your local theater. And it's a community event exclusively for your town each night. Mm -hmm. So you, you'd buy a ticket just like you would to come see the show. Mm -hmm. One of the realizations I had about a month ago was there's not going to be any Christmas concerts. There's not going to be any Christmas music. What are we going to do with that Christmas music? And we found this. And what a joy this will be to have some actual Christmas music and Christmas concerts. And if you join with people in your city, you may be sitting with people that you know enjoying the concert. Exactly. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. And um so true. You know what? Honestly, Stephen, I didn't even think of that, that when we're doing it, you know, it's it's like neighbors gathering. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a sense of the things that are special that are local. And, and you know, that's what makes it so special when you tour mm -hmm. is you're in their town. And so mm -hmm. as opposed to this, what I consider to be kind of a passive quality to a lot mm -hmm. of the concert live streams where you're not, you don't really feel a part of it. You're watching it, but it's not an active situation. Mm -hmm. We, the, so many of the performers we have talked to, they say that that is uh, one of the biggest challenges they have right now is that the energy they get from the audiences when they're on stage has been lost and that yeah. doing them in video that, that they didn't realize how much energy they get from the audiences and how what a void that is. So hopefully with this experience, you will maybe get some of that energy from, from your audience as well. I just, uh, the only thing I'll say is you might want to consider maybe cleaning your house a little bit before I see you um, maybe mm -hmm. decorate so I can see your decorations. You know, um, that's what's so fun about the Zoom is I get to see you too in your house, not just you see me, which I mm -hmm. love because it's mm -hmm. like it's such a cool, cool thing. Yeah. Uh, and it's giving back to some of the local arts organizations and theaters. We work with uh, a, new, a number of them in Florida. Uh, one of them, as you have there, is the Lexington Opera House. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I used to perform there with Lexington Singers. And uh, there's so many of these venues that relied on revenue. Yeah, exactly. Well, and that's and that's the reason we're doing it is mm -hmm. to um, to be able to give back and help some of these local theaters because they're they're really suffering right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really, really happy that you're doing this. We look forward to the concerts. You've got a couple of other uh, Christmas albums coming out, some Broadway stuff. If you want to maybe give us a snapshot of those, they're on your website and some really big names that you've partnered with uh, on those, Jim. Yeah, so um, this time of year, not only are theaters suffering, but all of the crew and a lot of the performers are really having a hard time. So we partnered with the Actors Fund, which okay. is um, which is an organization that gives um, support to out of work, you know, lighting designer or or a choreographer or a ticket taker or you know anybody down the line, and um, it's called Brickman for Broadway Christmas. Okay, and it it has duets of all of my Christmas hits, but with Broadway stars. So um, it has Kelly O'Hara is singing on it. 
Santino Fontana, who just starred in Tootsie and My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Um, it's got Norm Lewis and Megan Hilty and um, Adrian Warren, who is starring as Tina Turner on Broadway. Um, God, the list goes on. Um, Sierra Bagas, who's in Phantom. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Doyle from Company. Um, so many amazing singers. I know I'm forgetting a couple, um, but it's it, it, big stars joining me on uh, Brickman for Broadway Christmas and all the proceeds, 100% mm. of the proceeds go to the Actors Fund to help all of the um, out of work performers and, and uh, crew. Mm. Mm. Well, that's there's uh, there's so many people right now, the actors. And uh, as we've talked to people, it's not just the people on stage. It's everyone who works in food and beverage. It's the uh, yeah. people who work backstage uh, with the symphony. People have said, you know, it's the the spacing behind the stage and so many challenges of what's going on. So, yeah. um, yes. That this has been great. It's really been great to talk to you. Um, they've got two amazing programs. You're at home uh, coming up series. Uh, comfort and joy at home and then your other albums thanks yeah um, i'm very excited about it you know it's it seems like it's a little early to talk about christmas but like the day after halloween i think we all need some joy at the holiday time this year i think it's going to be really important to uh lift spirits with music and to be able to in this case have this um these concerts every single night being able to see all of our friends Mm -hmm. Well, I worked in church music. We started rehearsals in September for the Christmas concerts. So I'm used to hearing Christmas carols about mid-September. So it's part of our heritage. Yeah, for sure. Jim, is there anything you wanted to cover that I didn't ask? No, just, you know, um, come and join us. Like I said, there's about 100 cities and they start November 29th or, you know, Thanksgiving weekend. And you can come to any of them. Like, Stephen, you know, like it, because you're from Lexington, let's say we weren't coming to Nashville or something, you know, you can support whatever theater you want to go to. You don't have to go to just the city you live in. You know, everybody's okay. invited. So um, if you're from somewhere or, or you want to support your, a local theater in a place where you grew up or you want to gift it to somebody in another city, uh, that's a cool way to do it, too. Uh, and if you have family members who you're in one city and they're in another city uh, and maybe you can't travel because of COVID for the holidays, this could be a cool little family gathering, maybe. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe a cool family gathering. Yeah. Um, the question I ask everyone at the end is uh, what words of encouragement can you give uh, people who are watching uh, during such a challenging and unprecedented time? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think that so many of us are finding out so much more about ourselves during this time. And um, it's it's such a difficult thing uh, for everybody. Um, and so to me, I think trying to broaden horizons, do, doing things that don't maybe come as naturally to you to discover things about yourself. Um, you know, there was a long time that I didn't read for so long, you know, I would sometimes read on the tour and stuff, but I've discovered reading again, um, you know, busy yourself with something that is, uh, that you feel is productive, that's for you. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think that, that a lot of us are doing these things. I'm trying to cook more, trying to, trying to learn how to cook more. Um, and after a while it does get old, you know, all this stuff. But uh, I think we have no choice but to, to have hope and and um, and believe mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. we have to use these moments in a positive way. Mm -hmm. One of the things one of my mentors said that I've repeated is, uh, "Don't waste your suffering," and to use yeah, exactly exactly mm -hmm, use opportunities like this, like you said, to expand your horizons and try new things. Um, I don't cook, but I I, I could try, um, and maybe I could learn how to play the piano by ear. I don't know. I think it's exactly. a lost cause. Exactly. Whatever <laughs> you. Whatever you desire, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jim. It's been a real honor talking to you. I've listened to your music for many years, and um, it's been a real joy getting to talk to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's let's put up uh, if Arthur's got. Let's put up your website uh, one more time so people can see uh, where they can find um, about the Comfort and Joy program. This is really a phenomenal idea. 
to um, because I, the, our local stages and, and everyone, uh, if, if Arthur can put that up. Uh, we've got your website up. It's obviously easy to see, jimbrickman.com, and easy to spell. And um, we're going to put your social media up here in just a minute. But uh, again, the website with the CD information, the comfort and joy, uh, virtual information, a uh, great way to experience the holidays and holiday music uh, from a legend pianist. Thank uh, Jim, thank you. And Arthur's going to put up uh, your information there. And then if you would like to know more about us, ours is... You can text OCQ to 22828 to stay up to date on OutClick. Jim, thank you so much. We look forward to your holiday music. Everyone, have a great day and early Merry Christmas. <laughs>